I'm looking, I was looking at John 12, 25, 26, somewhere around there, where it talks about if you love your life, you will lose your life, or you'll lose it. And uh, I, I think that strikes a lot of Christians the wrong way when they're reading that. Uh, if you're in the will of God, you're praying for people, healing people, blessing people, being a blessing. Um, what um, You could love your life. They find if you're doing God's will, you're happy with everything in the sense that uh, you're good with God. And at times, you could love your life, right? Because you're living, you know, Jesus came that you have life in the full, right? Life to the full. And having life to the full is having great experiences, right? And those experiences will uh, inevitably lead you to love your life. So a lot of Christians read that, and I think they get that the wrong way. I th well, I think they take it in the bad light, like, oh, they need to hate that they love life. It's not like that. It, I think the whole very point of... You know, if you love your life, you'll lose it. And uh, I think the whole very point is that if you wouldn't give it up for God, it says if you give it up, as, you, as it continues, if you give it up, then you'll have eternal life. So if you lay down your life, you're willing to lay down your life for God and die for Him. That's, I think, what He's looking for. Um... I'm going to dive in a little bit more, uh, but the whole very point, if you love your life and you want to save your life, you know, it says if you save your life, you will lose your life. If you lose your life, you will save your life. That's conjoined with the other one I just gave. Um, that The context there is, again, you, if you don't want to lay your life down for God, if you're not willing to to step in the line of fire for love's sake, right? For your own sake of being in love. Um, then uh, basically, you know, you're going to lose your life. You're going to be in fear. And, uh, it, well, there's a, you can go in a lot of different directions with that. Uh, but uh, let me stay on track. Uh, um, yeah, basically, uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of Christians that... Uh, are not willing to give their life to God. So therefore, what do you think is going to happen to them? You know, sooner than later.